When working in Team One, you're gonna to want to capture thoughts and ideas. We have a text tool, but we also have sticky notes. So let's see how each of those functions within Team One. Now, this is a template that we started with, so it already had some sticky notes in it. If you ever wanna add a sticky note, what you do is you come over here to the right where you see the sticky note icon. This allows you to choose different colors and then you can place that sticky note anywhere on your board and start typing in it. Now, if we zoom in here on some of these sticky notes that have already been worked on, you'll notice that it has a person or team member's name on it. This is a good way to track who started or was working on that thought or idea. Now, if I were to come in and add or change any of this sticky note, which I have the ability to, because I can type in it, it would actually change the sticky note to my name, reflecting who worked on it most previous. So we always encourage uh, every person to essentially have their own sticky note or their own idea. If I wanted to make a comment on someone's sticky note, there is actually a way to add comments, which we'll explore in another video. Now let's compare that to say adding text because you'll notice, for example, we have text boxes up here in Q&A and done. The text box is the T on the left in the menu. And when I select, I can then do things like change my font. I can come in here and change my font size. I can change the alignment, uh, how the transparency is. I can duplicate it, or I can even uh, add hyperlinks and stuff like that. But if I start typing here and I add, say, a title, you'll notice that it doesn't capture my name or anything like that. And that's because text is more for organization, right? Again, titles or descriptions of se uh, sections. If we're doing more brainstorming and we wanna capture where thoughts are coming from, we recommend using sticky notes. And again, if you come in on any sticky note and click on it, you'll notice that you get that same menu or that text editor type menu where you can change the color, the font, uh, the alignment. And you'll notice that on alignment and uh, you can change the size and duplicate it. So uh, sticky notes are best for processing and uh, brainstorming. If you're doing more organization, you can use the text box icon.